Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Evanico. Three episodes in one week, aren't you guys lucky? It's because of a opening week special. Don't get too used to it. Do you have a level? I'm sure you guys, I mean you guys are lucky though. I'm sure you guys heard if you're following rant stuff about the audio desync shenanigans making a lot of my rant videos not very not a very good listening experience the older ones i needed to edit so i'm a little cheesed but luckily for evan it goes since we started off not uh not doing h scenes it's gonna work out good for us so that's good at least wow that's unfortunate okay I was just looking if Riche was chilling there. Another Mot Sword doesn't really do anything. Just adds it through here, right? So last time, followed the Copus quest. Sadly, she did not survive. But, I mean, <laughs> wait, no, she's alive. She's just fully corrupted. Um, also, I think we're about to bang uh, Ramius because she got injected with by the super special aphrodisiac and also there's a, seems to be a big plot happening because um because there are signs of bombs but no bombs in the area so lots of stuff happening but yeah let's continue maybe we'll get our first party member after we do Ramius. <laughs> Do you want a party member, man? These are aggressive hannies. I thought they were friendly. Why so mad? I'll take a, a little upgrade. Who needs to buy clothes, man? Just get the free upgrades. Beast. Back to Evo. All right, get ready to. Oh, Aster, you're still alive. I guess I don't need my camera set up. Let me just move that. Even though you can't see anything. When Aster entered town, Yurase and a very concerned-looking Ginny ran over. Yeah, we're built different. About Copus. Yeah, sounds like it was no use. That's okay. I knew it was hopeless. It's taking it well, huh? I just didn't want to accept it. I apologize for making you do something so reckless. Well, I don't really mind that. Is Copus not back yet? The lady and I came with her, but a band of other knights arrived later and took her away. Huh? What? Why would they do that? What do you mean why? Copus is an outlaw now. She can't live in this town anymore. The knights took her to a very to a special place. What place is that? I haven't heard much about it. Just that they took her somewhere far away. <laughs> maybe like a... Maybe like a town for friendly outlaws or victim outlaws, I guess. Outlaws against their will. They took her far away, almost made it sound like she died. Pretty plain girl, but looked nice at least. I was thinking that once I'm a knight, getting her to fall for me might not be a bad idea. I knew you were after Copus, that's why I hesitated to marry her. It's right, Ginyu. You, you're still young. I'm sure you'll meet another nice girl. Yes, I'll live on for both me and Copus. So I have to take care of her cow. They really are just talking about like she's dead. Thank you, Aster. As though to shake off his feelings for Copus, then you walked firmly to the stables. Dude, rip Copus. She can't even do her dream as a cow girl. No, well, not not a milk maker, because she can't produce anything. Something on your mind, Aster. You look conflicted. Why can't Copus live here? Since she's an outlaw. But if too many unblessed people are around, this town go to shit. Can't have those dangerous people here, or nobody could live in peace. Copus is bland but cute. If she tempted me, no amount of praying stopped me from... Huh? Anyway, if you don't want uh, more people to become outlaws, there's some things we just have to do. All right, I need to go to the capital and take the test to become a knight. Good luck, buddy. Bye then, hope you can become a knight too. Yeah. 
He was actually grinned that Astrid disappeared into the town, even though he's kind of a coward. But, whatever. Oh, come to think of it, Ram I think Ramius asked for me. Astrid remembered that she wanted to thank him and asked him if he could come to the inn. I don't know if I'm in the mood now, though. I'll wait until I've cheered up a bit. Oh, no. I <laughs> probably don't want to keep her waiting. Not because she'll be mad, but because of the aphrodisiac. <laughs> Astrid decided the best way to get over his depression would be to leave town for a while. Well, I want to level up. Sora! Oh, I'd like to level up, please. Ula, Rila, Piro, Piro, Meow, Meow, Meow. Something like that. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Boom. One skill point up, if you love to see it. We can put back on, uh, enemy information. Thank you, Sora. Uh, I do wanna... We do have money. I don't necessarily need to buy these swords, even though they are kind of a nice boost. I kind of wanted to buy the... By the consumables, honestly. I don't know if there's like a bay thingy, but we're rich, man. I'm buying you out. <laughs> there, wait, price shark. What the fuck is that? Oh, I didn't even notice that. 30,000. Or 3,000. So it's a shock 10 amulet for. Paralyzed chance. Interesting. Can't get that in a while. Church. Based on the size of the group, the outlaws had around here probably came from another country. First, this town produced outlaws too. You've had cases where bad relationships led to someone killing their spouse or a drunk getting in a fight and killing somebody by accident, you know? In one case, a young delivery man saw a man's wife getting out of the shower and nothing but a towel and assaulted her. That happens too. Just to be sure nothing happens, you should pray at the church regularly. Okay. Uh, let's end me. Seriously, traveling by yourself feels so lonely. Well, just another reason to get married soon. Hey, where's Ramius, dude? Alright. Uh, do we actually have to leave? I guess so. Can I just, like, go back in later? Maybe look for Riche? Oh, here we go. I remember this place. That's the nasty new he found himself at the shore he washed up on. Looks like the sky island moved. Oh, so it moves. If Mother Eve really lives up there, she could have bothered to save Copus. The way you're looking at the sky makes me think that it's really where you came from. Huh? Sounds like you beat the outlaw leader. Did you meet up with Ramius? Yeah, but the girl who got kidnapped became an outlaw. Oh, so you were too late. But at least he saved her life. When outlaws have their fill of abducted girls, they are usually killed. Huh? Outlaws aren't blessed, so they can't get what they need to live unless they steal. But they can only steal so much, so they wouldn't give themselves more mouths to feed. Oh, what the heck? Is that any reason to kill people? They're willing to do it, and that's what made them outlaws in the first place. Despicable. Girls are nice and soft and pretty and smell nice, and they make old men happy. True. To beep them, to satisfy yourself, and then kill them, they're absolutely re reprehensible. I see. I thought you were just a huge perv, but you're surprisingly earnest. You're still a huge perv, but... <laughs> huh? H how do you know I'm a perv? Uh, I figured it out pretty quick. Even back when I saw you... When I saved you on the beach, I noticed you were enjoying my butt. Uh... <laughs> well, I was amused. Enough that I started pushing it against you on purpose at that at some point. That was intentional? Esther blushed at his lecherous heart being revealed. Richie grinned at his embarrassment. Ah. Uh, but as that exchange went on, Esther noticed that his previous depression was somewhat lifted. Maybe she was trying to cheer me up. By the way, why are you running from Ramius and, like, sneaking into dangerous caves and stuff? Oh, so you're curious. Of course, I'm sure you're strong, but I wouldn't want to see anything bad happen to a girl. 
Mm, you shouldn't just say that to anyone, or someone would get the wrong idea. About what? Th they might think you're interested. Then you're just causing problems. But I am interested. You are? Of course, Ramius is cute, but you're also really hot. I, I see, no one told ever told me that before. Okay, thanks. For girls as cute as Riche, you'd think they'd hear it all the time. I came to able to get info from the outlaws. Info? Yeah, the outlaws seemed more organized lately, so I'm trying to figure out who's behind them. Why would you do that? Because I feel how you do. I hate outlaws, and I don't want more girls to end up like Colpus, I suppose. So you're a knight, right? Nope, of course. I do have permission to be bad guys, same as you, though. Ramius is chasing you, but you're something similar to a knight, so are you... Who I am is not important. Anyway, what about Ramius? She's really strong, huh? Oh yeah, she even saved me. Knights sure are powerful. Aster described what happened in the cave after he parted ways with Riche. And then I was surrounded. She appeared and beat up the enemies behind me like boom, bam. That barely tells me what happened, but sounds like something Ramius would do. But what... But what really told me Ramius is strong is when she got Copus under control, I guess. It was probably to keep Copus calm, but even when she was stabbed with a syringe, she didn't bat an eye. Huh? A syringe? Oh yeah, I think it belonged to the outlaws. Copus picked up a syringe and off the ground and stabbed it into Ramius' arm. Wait a sec, was it... was it this? Yeah, that. The fluid was the same color. Oh no, seriously, why? Crash. Hey, what's wrong? Adam's blood. Adam's blood. Is that what this fluid's called? Didn't realize this was blood. It's not. It's a drug that outlaws brought in. A drug? Using it gives you the sense of intoxication and security. It also sharpens the senses, so it can be used as an aphrodisiac. My sisters have told me about drugs. They make you feel good for a while, but if you use them regularly, they mess up your body and mind. Depending on how it's synthesized, Adam's blood can have a bunch of different effects. What they had was probably made with an emphasis on the aphrodisiac aspect. Adam's blood? Is it called that because it was made by a guy named Adam? Adam's the name of the Archfiend who brought monsters into the world. Archfiend? That seems kind of exaggerated. It's not hyperbole. It's given... The name of the Archfiend because the desire that the dread draws out are impossible to hold in. Desires? Those it, it frenzies have to kill. Those who hallucinate can no longer see reality. And those who pleasure is drawn out will indiscriminately desire the opposite sets. What if you just tied them up until the effects ran out? You can't. If you try to stop the symptoms, most people would go mad. Th then what about Ramius? She'll lose all self-control at the same time she's filled with lust, so she'll sell to die, and if he happens to be married already. So Ramius might become an outlaw? Nope, Ramius wouldn't let that happen. She'd kill herself first. What do I do? It's all my fault. If only I didn't come to Abel. Don't blame yourself, Riche. It's all on the outlaws. None of this would have happened if they weren't around. So don't feel bad. I'll help. Let's come up with a way to get Ramius back to normal. Aster. Hmm? A dread, though. If only there was some kind of antidote. Yeah, it's called your D, buddy. <laughs> There's a way. Hmm? There's one way to save Ramius. Huh? Really? Aster? Actually, Aster. Yes? Richie suddenly changed her attitude and stared into Aster's eyes. Please make love with Ramius. What? I guess the allies are trying to conserve... The Adam's blood because it's really thin. If she spends about a night feeling so good she can't think, the symptoms should be under control by the mo tomorrow's morning. Wait, uh, are you really saying this? I know you already have two brides in mind. Oh yeah. But I beg of you, please, suppress Ramius' lust by having love with her. <laughs> Richie kneeled to Aster. I know I'm asking a lot, still please save Ramius by making her yours. J just raise your head first. Do you hate Ramius? Nah, actually, I think I like her. She seems a little slow, but she tries hard and risks her life to fight for people in need. I find that really cool. 
What about her Lutz? No complaints there. Any man would want to rub those big boobs. I'd assume I'd have to assume. So it's fine with me. Actually, I want to do Ramius. Really? You do? Well, I don't think that's my decision alone to make. I'm sure Ramius let someone. She doesn't. That's a quick response. Well, we're old friends, so I know. Not only is Ramius not into anyone, I'm pretty sure she's never been. Maybe not Ramius, but I imagine plenty of guys are interested in her. Also not true. People call her the loner knight, even other knights keep their distance. Seriously? But she's so hot. But she's got such big boobs. Yeah, well, sure, her appearance isn't the problem. I see. I'm really sorry to ask this of you. Huh? What? I mean, asking you to marry Ramius is telling you to give up on the girls you already love. Nah, doesn't working your way up as a knight let you have more wives? That's true, but do you really think you can do it? Of course, I'd be happy to ha have a romantic relationship with Ramius. Don't worry about a thing. Well, kind of worried about making my sisters wait, but oh well. Huh, then I'll stop feeling bad. Take care of Ramius. Sure, leave it to me. I'll head to the inn and talk to her then. Ask her way to Richie and return to Abel. Tonight they're gonna... How nice. Huh? Uh huh, what's with me? I'm the one who asked him to do it, but now I'm sad for some reason. Richie thought about it for a while, but can't figure out the cause. Uh, it's cause she likes you. No, Hanny, don't cock block me. You're not even a real Hanny. Get out of here. Send me. Astra asked the inn owner for Ramius' room and stood outside her door. Sun's gone down already, I wonder if she's awake. Alright. I think it's time to pause. See you guys in a bit. We're married! I should have did that right away. I was just scared of my chore and agents right again. Actually, my chore and agents right. Hold on, I'm pausing it then. Gotta, gotta clear this. The next morning. It seems fine. I guess I'll just edit it out because I don't want to skip too much stuff. <laughs> Basically, woke up. Ramius is naked. Honestly, surprisingly wholesome scene. Maybe I'm just too used to rants, but the scenes usually aren't that wholesome. <laughs> H scene and the music bops, dude. It's the same music as the intro with the sisters. That sounds so good. I already added it to my OST mitts. But anyways, yeah. So basically, waking up, Ramius is sleeping, and now we have a ring, golden ring, instead of like the outlaw black ring. A close inspection on his left hand, his ring finger had a shining golden ring on it. Could this be? Oh, don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, you're up, morning. Don't you do it. Noticing Aster's face was close, Remy averted her blushing face as she responded. It appears when you're married, right? Remy outstretched her left hand, had an identical ring. A couple followed Mother's Eve's laws that's matching rings, huh? Same here, it makes me kind of glad. Huh? Think I wouldn't be? <laughs> oh. Such a downer, man. Made sense for their bad story. Or what we know so far, but still. Now nah, I'm more happy to marry a cute girl like you. More than happy. Ramius. In the soft morning sunlight, they gaze at each other and brought their faces together. Slam! Hey, you're ruining the moment. Riche? Riche, why are you here? ピンポーン。ピンポーン。<笑><笑> 
Yep, he's hella horny. Yeah, ever since ever since we met, I was like, I want to tap that. <laughs> so elegant. <laughs> Why? Asa rode out of bed and gathered up his scattered clothes. Okay. First wife got in. Probably party member. You feel like sending Ramius to chase Riche? It's not like the greatest idea. <laughs> Just from Ramius' personality. In contrast to Ramius' frustration, Riche grinned like a child but pulled off some sort of form of mischief. <laughs> if you're wondering, yeah, she's a princess. Did I mention that? I, I remembered she was a princess. Also, the chapter title. <laughs> yeah. We talked about that in the intro. Sparkle bombs are missing. What? You think they're after? You think after they were brought into this country, they were carried off somewhere else? Why go to Ramius's house? It's <laughs> a great point, to be honest. Should do that. Oh yeah, I have to go ask for their daughter's hand. Counteractive. So where's Ramius's house? Stallion. New town just dropped? Huh, interesting. Wait, really? So Ramius is like super rich and classy? Mm, okay. But after what we did, wouldn't most dads hate me? And he's even the head of a town. What if I get assassinated? <laughs> Maybe we'll be friends. Dude, it amazes me. I mean, I get Ramius is like clumsy and dangerous, but people really didn't like her, man. How? <laughs> really? I wonder what Ramius's family is like. Makes sense. Public cow carriage. Yeah. <laughs> That's her did the child brother. The super knight, right? Your brother, wasn't he like... Yeah. Achi Val. One of the top knights. Oh no. いそごあした。兄上が到着するまでに挨拶を終わらせれば顔を合わせなくて済む。は?おはい。兄上が手なんだよね。いつも騎士には向いていないとか、画冊で色気が足りないとか、ブタバンバラがお似合いだとか、心
Okay. Asta and Rami's parted ways with Riche and headed towards Stallion. Okay. What's that? Yo, is that like a relationship boost? I don't know what this love gauge is. Oh, marriage status. I can have one wife, normal person. And the hearts are like first scenes, maybe? So do I have to look for that? Oh, what the fuck? The ocean's vast and huge and salty. Yeah, no wonder I almost drowned. Asher days out to the wide ocean and reminded himself of its immenseness. Oh, found of one of 100 landscapes. Collectibles, baby. Dude, I love collectibles. That wasn't there before. Maybe it unlocked since we kind of beat the tutorial. Also, ambushed? What the fuck, Hannies? I thought we were brothers. Now, look at us. I gotta do this. Huh? When we fight together, monsters seem like nothing. As if without satisfaction of fighting with a partner and looked over at his wife. Huh? Ramius? <laughs> oh no. Honey? あ、ダメだ。恥ずかしくて戦闘にならない。あまり恥ずかしくなくて、それでいて私たちの関係を的確に表す呼び方がいいだろう。あ、ラミアス。なんだ。どうかしたのか。We'll uh, be fighting together from now on, so I figured maybe we should try to say try saying stuff to each other during battle. そうだ。連携は大事だ。私もその意見には賛成だ。all right then let's try that thanks ramius anata <laughs> she said it huh my name's not dear it's aster for some time after ramius hardly said a word but aster didn't realize why hey i see that point oh tons of mushrooms aster looked at the many colored mushrooms sprouting from the base of the tree and gasped the diced mushrooms my sisters made were good but mushrooms are poisonous, so cooking them requires a special chef's license. As Sir continues drool as he spent some time staring at the mushrooms. Mushroom cluster. Dude, we gotta try to. Now I gotta look everywhere, man. I mean, we're heading to a town, so. It's not that bad, but. Okay, so that's done. You have that. You have the love thing. Oh! Cow! Cow's hiding something, dude. I see that. There we go. In a well-maintained pasture, some cows were leisurely eating grass. Even when Aster that next one, it cried out a bit, but it didn't seem to be particularly alarmed. Cows are really annoying to listen to. Aster enjoyed the peaceful scenery. Is that what you call enjoying? What's this? Hmm? Rami, is there something wrong? Ramius was gazing at her hand or her ring more specifically. Oh, Oops. And the only thing that confirms we're married is in our rings. Yeah. I've got it. Let's do something couples would do. Aster held out his hand to Ramius. <laughs> Thumb wrestling. No, I thought maybe we could hold hands. Even worse. Oh, sorry, if you don't want to, that's okay. I, I don't think. I don't know much about holding hands with a girl either, so you're not alone. Rami has timidly reached out her hand. Oh, now that I look, Rami's hands are smaller than me. That's kind of surprising. Esther is so nervous that his hand slightly trembled as he squeezed Rami's. It's too lewd, guys. Turn it down. I'm trying to make this family friendly. Rami's internally shrieked. <laughs> In her head, Ramius was past panicking as for Aster. 
My palms are getting sweaty. Ah, I'm so tense I can't think. Wow, soft hands. He was also panicking. <laughs> game is so wholesome, man. It's different. <laughs> yeah, I feel that way too. In like the sense that my heart feels tense in my body stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, um, aha. Uh -huh. They remain nervous as they hold hands and what? Love event. You love to see it. So nothing here. We want to be... Oh, yo, I want the beetle, dude. Yo, that cow's different. That's across the bridge. You don't even need to use special moves. Just slowly tap them. Uh, I'll ignore that. Good here. Want to catch everything. I wonder if... I hope they're not. There might be stuff in the tunnel. Are we really going to risk that? For collectibles. Oh, there's something here though. A platypus and a child were sunbathing on a stump. Cute. Wonder if I can pet them. Whack. As his hands were swatted away by the platypus's tail. Ow, sorry. As just such his finger as he watched the two platypuses. Platypus family. Unlocked. Oh, what the? What? Oh, well. That's for fighting this thing. Didn't necessarily want to do this. It's guard. In full power? Maybe I can kill this now. Oh, I dodged. That's horrible. And sh stunned. It's okay. Ow. Ow. That's what I need to. Seems kind of like a waste, but. Can't really do anything else. I'm killing this thing. We're here. Yes! Go! Fuck you! Go! I don't know if we lose if she dies. It's okay. Go! No, we dodged! Based. Fuck you, Gibbon. That's what you get. Okay, don't run into another one, though. Oh, yeah, there's a spot. I fucking knew it. That's a bit stump. When Astro down in the stump, he felt like he was standing on top of a stage. At nobody's watching, but I feel embarrassed I should get off. Astro felt himself mildly blush as he immediately got off the stump. Giant stump or not? It don't. Oh, that... No, kill it. With fire. You too, Astro. Go away. Alright. Landmark start. Still more though. Maybe. Now we're back to smooth sailing. Yo! What the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot to give Aster his skill points. He has... Info display. And Ramius. Wait, where'd her range thus go? Oh, I guess she didn't get a skill point. Because she needs to level up still. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah, don't hit that. Oh, yeah, we can use this. Beautiful. Save me. Am I actually gonna find something here? I'm already here, dude. Run me. <laughs> Is this. What the fuck? Why are these guys so much stronger? Or are they always this strong? It's alright, I'm not 
Stalin, this is this is for completionist, okay? Bopping. Broken bottle. Maybe I should have aimed for B. Not like you do much anyways. Okay. What the fuck? Get out of my way, buddy. It's one hit. It's okay, we're done. Bad at B. Look, free heal. No scene though. I even got two levels. I mean, we're already here. We might as well check the bottom too. What the fuck? Nice four damage. Loser. What the? I'm, I was joking. <laughs> nice four damage. Never mind. Treasure. Yo. What the fuck? That's good. Wait, that was mainly HP though. It's kind of weird, but it's still kind of a huge low up, right? Make us tankier. I'll take it. How do you live? Not allowed to live. Ooh, nice stun on auto attack. Nope, this was literally useless besides some XP, which I don't mind, but. That was an auto battle work. But it's fine. Let's just auto battle for now. <laughs> the true rant experience. Just turn on auto battle. For classic rant gaming. Alright. So nothing in the cave. I think we've checked all the point. Doesn't this seem like a point? No, there's a treasure chest up there. Oh, it turns off automatically. That's less exciting. Oh, that's okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna get two levels. Based. I don't want to attack this. Actually, we can just save it. No, there's no point. I remember those things being way stronger than the gibbons. Those are like stuff you do later. For sure. More loot. Ooh, I actually want that. Fuck the HP. Actually, fuck the HP. Evasions already some defense up plus some more attack. I feel like that's fine. Alright, let's 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 blow this popsicle stand. So this is Fort Barrowon. In order to challenge the powerful monsters in this territory, Marquez Barrowon risked his life to construct this fortress. Thanks to his efforts, the strong monsters were driven away, letting people live here in relative peace, or so the stereos say. How interesting. Then this is a pretty old building. Yeah, it has some history, so there's been many tourists of late, I hear. Oh, looks like it. Oh, I, I see someone over there. Hmm? The tourist turned his back to the river and threw a coin behind him. Hey, what's he doing? Making a wish. What? This whole river is a wishing fountain? I'm sorry, I just wanted to look smart. I don't actually know anything. <laughs> Lol. Aw. Oh. Ha ha ha. Maybe it's horribly depressed, but when Aster stroked her on the head, she instantly cheered up. She's so cute, man. What is this? Dragon Beetle. Plus one to all supplementary abilities. Eight stats. Accuracy. The eight stats from accuracy to XP game. Oh. It's like a f consumable full stata. I mean, we just give it to you. Aster, I assume, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna give it to Aster. Why wouldn't I? Though I guess you're, that's like late game big boy increase stuff, but still gonna give it to him. Yo, Jackie. You're, you're scaring me. Go away. She didn't go away, but she got stunned, so that's okay. Can can. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. I remember that keys. They all wanted a cow. When Aster approached the cows cried sadly. Stallion's cows looked smarter than Abel's to me. Maybe it's because I'm from a rural area. I just spent some time looking at the faces of the slightly more tense looking cows. Stallion cows added. Okay. I don't know if I should have used the beetle. Tell me if uh, Aster's a good choice for beetle upgrades. I assume because he'll always be in our party. Probably. Let's head to Stallion though. How's our time doing? It's getting a little late, but we can go for a bit more. Esther's impressions as he entered Stallion was that the house were even more packed together than in Abel. The streets clearly had more people, and judging by appearance, they ranged from farmers and merchants to artisans and adventurers. Esther looked around so much that his head spun. <laughs> Unaccustomed to being around so many people and unsure how to take it in, Esther was taken to a particularly large residence that stood out from all the others. The entrance looked spotless, maybe I should remove my shoes first. <laughs> She's in a rush. Esther was dragged by the arm into the house. Oh, well, too late. It's the brother. So it was right to take off our shoes. Huh? That's who this is? Yo, look out. This guy looks like a Chad, man. Double big ass swords. And armor, but like not covering his chest at all. Not chest armor, just like shoulder pads. <laughs> Whoa, he's huge, really intimidating. Oh, ah. Akivale shot a piercing glare glare at their locked hands. He seems hostile. That look alone got Aster sweat Aster sweating. That she was like she felt the same Ramius gas. Do the nasty. Huh? huh? Oh, pretending outlaw. <laughs> Clunk. Ramius's brother fell to his knees where his seeping bloodlust dissipated. Seems like a fun, fun guy. Huh? This guy crying to his knees is a zero night? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I doubt what he's implying now, that he forced herself on him. I didn't get that, that's actually hilarious. I mean, we, we're kind of forced into it, to be honest, but not that we minded. Oh, no. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. She's incredibly cute, so yeah. I thought he was just memeing, like playfully, but I think he meant it. Yeah. Asta 
Why? Is there a problem? Oh, what the fuck? Is it an economic thing? <laughs> Can't afford that much knights. What? Oh, I got it. No harm, no foul. <笑>あ、はじゃあ、ちょうどいい。ラミアスは騎士を辞めろ。な。お前は騎士に向いてないんだよ。あとはこいつに任せて花嫁修行でもしてろ。でも私は弱き者を助けるために一人で突っ走って
Ooh, you just beat a normal Jackie. She was already kind of tough. So a test of strength? Okay. Alright, I'm becoming your brother then? <laughs> I mean, for a successful marriage, gotta bond with the family. Sorry, I got into the moment. Um, I'll get you to accept our relationship. Oh, no. <laughs> Esther and an even more dust-covered Rami has decided to head to the happiness field. Alright. As much as I want to play, like I said, it's getting pretty late, so we'll end here. Save over here, I guess. Boom. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Evanico. Again, if you haven't subbed, consider subbing so you can follow the series better since it's unscheduled. And yeah, like, comment, blah, 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 stuff I just need to say because it's part of the job description. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we'll, next time we'll uh, see if we can get the brother's approval. But until then, see ya.